Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your thumbnail previews are not working properly on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So if you're unable to see thumbnail previews and they're just appearing as generic folders, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu and search for File Explorer. Best match, you're going back with File Explorer. Go ahead and open that up. You want to set your three-dotted icon up in the top right. Just go ahead and select that where it says See More. And then select Options. And now you want to select the View tab. And underneath Files and Folders, you want to locate something that says Always Show Icons, Never Thumbnails. You want to go ahead and make sure that it's unchecked. So that's checkmarked in here. You want to go uncheck that. And then select Apply and OK to save the change. And then once that is done, you want to close out of here and then restart your computer. Technically, you could restart File Explorer as well or the Explorer process in Task Manager. However, it sounds it's just simpler just to restart your whole computer. Now, if you notice the thumbnails are still not visible, one further thing you might want to do is actually clear your temporary files, which might still be storing a cached version of the old settings. So open up the search menu and type in disk cleanup. Best match, you come back with disk cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select the OK option in here. And it's going to ask you, sure you want to permanently delete these files? Select the delete and give that a moment. And then once that's done, open up the search menu again, type in disk cleanup one more time, open that up. And this time you want to select clean up system files. And then you want to select OK to delete those files and select delete. So once that's done, go ahead and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.